All right, up next, we have Sinstone's David Cho, who will present Stone Pass. David Cho, welcome to the stage. In an online world, logging into your account is becoming increasingly difficult. Longer passwords, upper and lowercase letters, numbers, symbols, your mother's maiden name, your pet's name, how are we supposed to remember all of these things? And even with all of this, do you actually feel any safer? Every day, you read about cases of cybersecurity data breaches at some of the largest companies in the world. It's costing millions of dollars a year for these companies to protect themselves. And most importantly, this is your information that is at risk. Currently, verification is done with a one-way, static, password-matching algorithm. In other words, you input your password, it's transmitted via this channel to the server, which verifies against the database. If there's a match, it will give you access to your account. But the problem is that you're extremely vulnerable to phishing and farming. If a hacker happens to intercept your information in this channel, he will have access to all of your information, no matter how sophisticated your password is. Even apparently secure technologies such as Bitcoin have shown that they are quite vulnerable. Last year, hackers took over $75 million from a financial exchange in Hong Kong. But what if I were to tell you that you can protect your information even when your authentication key is leaked? My name is David Cho, and we are Sandstone. Our product, StonePass, is a two-way, two-factor, multi-channel, dynamic, key-matching algorithm. So I know that's a lot to uh, comprehend. What does that actually mean? So when you're using StonePass, all you have to do is input your user ID only. When you do this, it is transmitted to the server, which creates an authentication key. It then pings your mobile device. Here, you can verify your identity, which then creates another authentication key. So then this is sent back to the server. This is compared to your original authentication key, and if there's a match, you have access to your account. So by using two separate devices across two separate networks, pushing information in two separate directions, you can be sure that your information is going to be extremely safe. Most technologies focus on preventing data leakage, but we make sure that your information is secure even if leakage occurs. So even if a hacker has your password, he won't have access to your account. So let's take a look at video at how current ver verification occurs. Basically, you put in your user ID and password, requests a token OTP, which you have to be carrying around with you. You have to fish it out, get the ID, and input it before you have access to your account. So now let's take a look at two examples of how StonePass technology works. In this case, you log in with just your user ID. Your mobile device is pinged. You put in your password, which can be extremely short. An authentication key is created. And then you have access to your account. Our second example, you put in your user ID. Your mobile device, once again, is pinged. This time, we use biometrics. You input your fingerprint. It's verified. An authentication key is created, and now you have access to your account once again. So another benefit of StonePass is that we allow multiple authentication methods. Every company has different requirements for security levels. And every time they add a new feature, this means additional costs. With StonePass's integrated technology, we can replace all password management. Additionally, Users can actually choose which authentication method they want to use. They also are notified instantly whenever a hacking occurs, 
and then they can choose whether to lock or unlock their account. We currently have three patents in Korea and are patent pending in Japan, Singapore, China, as well as the United States. We have FIDO certification and have passed several international mock hacking and security tests. Since our launch last year, we have had consider considerable traction working with several large organizations across a variety of sectors, including the National Health Insurance Service, SBI Bank, and Lotte members actually entrust us to manage all of their membership rewards authentication. So as you can see, we actually have a viable product in place already. We are also receiving business and marketing consulting from ISID so that we could focus on the Japanese market. Our revenue last year was over $500,000 and our goal for this year is $5 million. We anticipate our technology to help protect companies in a variety of sectors, including financial, public, service, and education. As we've engaged with our customers, we've pinpointed three key factors that, that they look for. Security, cost, as well as usability. Well, StonePass provides all three, and we can support a variety of environments, including cloud, blockchain, as well as IoT. Our team has over 100 combined years of cybersecurity experience. In fact, our team worked together at another cybersecurity company, and during this time, we recognized the need for improved authentication technology. So in 2015, we broke off and started our own company. With this team in place, our focus this year is global expansion. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit us at our booth. We would love to talk to you. Every authentication has connection with StonePass. Thank you very much.